Okay, so last time you guys were in a bar. Um, co uh, yeah, Corin. Fuck, brain fart. I thought Ahu hey. for a minute, and then I'm like, no, that's not right. He's in a different universe. Um, Corin, you I got mean, many universes. Corin, you got shot at from a hole inside of a uh, rooftop, and then you somersaulted to the rooftop like fucking Mario sixty four, and now you're running on rooftops. And Oxalis is running I, on the ground. I killed him. I know that. Oxalis is running on the ground him. after Corin, and Alpharis is flying on the roof, like kind of the cover style, with a centipede. Nice. You're forgetting something, though, Cactus. What am I forgetting? Uh, a multiversal punch to my face. Oh, yes. So, um, immediately, Corin, you feel that you just got slugged in the face and you are knocked on your ass immediately on the ground. As if yeah. someone punched you from behind. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Anybody get the number of that bitch? You take... No. 13 damage. Okay. Damn it. Damn. Yeah, I got punched in the face in another... timeline. Which happens to be this one. But in another one. But you got punched right now? Don't worry about it. So, technically, are you all going to keep running into the market? Uh, I'm going to chase after those guys on the rooftops. Okay. All right. Yeah. There's a centipede wrapped around you now, uh, Alferis. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. For I forgot. I forgot so much. Okay. I guess I'm still chasing, right? Yeah, you're all still chasing, and then they go into the market and they split up. Corin, the one that you had, ducks into a room. A uh, ducks into like a house. Are you gonna follow in? Yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. Yeah, I was trying to follow from the ground as much as I could from where they were running on the roof. The issue is, as you are running from the ground. You are now in the middle of the market district crowd. As you can see Corin go around a corner, but you lose track of him, as there is now tons and tons of people now surrounding you. But also, they're all uh. looking at you, poking, patting, and looking at you, and like, oohs and ahs, there is a centaur here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So now there is a crowd. Uh, roll me. Roll me a charisma save. Oh, let me... oh no! <laughs> That's my word. Stop that! Not... Oh, where's the sheet? I didn't pull up a sheet earlier. Hold on. Damn, didn't come prepared. I <laughs> need. You had How one job. dare you spare it? How you dare said, you? <laughs> the Christmas saver check. Save. As I open my sheet too. <laughs> Matt 20. <laughs> you know, you managed to completely knock this off. You know, you don't give a shit if anybody, everybody's looking at you and everybody's poking your sides and prodding at your, you know, well-toned shape and shoulders. You're just like, you know, it's it's whatever. And you just continue walking forward through the crowd, not even getting stalled up whatsoever. Just kind of pushing yeah. people aside as they're getting shoved from place to place. You're not, like, <laughs> galloping. However, Alpharis, yeah, like, you, were, you were on the rooftop, and you were lagging behind because you have a centipede wrapped around you. <laughs> um, you get to the same part that you see Oxalis is in, and there's a crowd of people, and Corin is nowhere to be seen, and neither is your person. What do you do? Um. Wait, so I lost Corin? Yes. 
I'm too I'm fast as fuck, boy. Am I hold on, what are my stats? Okay, I can't do that. Um I guess I'm gonna go down, land on uh Oxalis and then start flapping my wings around him to like push to like get the people out of here. Can I roll intimidation? Uh first you have to roll me acrobatics. <laughs> to please, surf on a please horse. Don't, please don't fucking face plant. That'd be so goddamn funny. <laughs> I'm not like diving into him. <laughs> I mean, you're going through the air. Sometimes you forget to fly. <laughs> and I roll athletics. <laughs> I said acrobatics. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> roll an eight. Oh, no. So you attempt to, you know, glide over. Problem is you have a wiggling giant insect wrapped around your body, limiting <laughs> your movements. And you end up try surfing the cowabunga on the back of Oxalis, <laughs> but you end up flying a bit too far forward and crash in the middle of the site, getting pulled into the swamp of people, where then you are trampled over by Oxalis. Um, ah! Oxalis, I need you to roll me um, four unarmored strikes. <laughs> Or unarmored strike? Well, uh, uh, Patrick, do you want me to roll unarmored strike or a hoof attack? <laughs> uh, four hoof attacks. Just damage. You hit every time. Let's see. Just kind of uh, yes. 22. Uh, 14. Oh, for once. <laughs> Fucking me for one. <laughs> 14. What's that in total damage? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so 21 plus. Oh, you can see it in the chat. <laughs> 35 plus 12, which is then 47 plus 50. 60, 62. Oh, 62 shit. damage. You take 62 damage, you are trampled by a horse. Slash centaur. And the, I... and the centipede freaks out while on top of you. Okay. Um, can I somehow, like, during all that, throw the centipede onto Oxalis? Mmm... No, it's still nope. firmly wrapped around you. Oh, <laughs> and Can uh, I get myself up? Oh, well, I'm not quite done yet, because, you know, the centipede, it's freaking oh. out. And, um, because it's freaking out, it's going to do some damage to you. Bitch. It's going to engulf in flames. So it's going to use a flame bite. Mm -hmm. It's going to first burst into flames. So you're taking basically a fireball to the face. So you took 28 fire damage from engulfing you in flames. So, uh, what you gonna do now, buddy? <laughs> um, can I get up and throw the centipede at Axalis? Well, everybody's running away now because you engulfed in flames. So they're running out of here. Oh, okay. So they're they're completely Perfect. mad dashing away from you. Axalis, roll me a um, another charisma save. Oh, sure thing. Oh, that one's worse. Fourteen. You're kind of being pushed. And prodded it, like, just pushed in different directions. Damn. So you're kind of stuck where you are right now. Hmm. So you want to get up and toss the centipede. Okay, roll me animal handling and then athletics. Alright. 
Fuck. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Um, it's gonna flame bite you now. Uh, twenty nine to get it off me. Okay, one minute. Does a uh, does a nineteen hit? Um, yeah. Okay, you take forty more fire damage. Fuck me. We don't need the centipede, it right? Gets, I don't remember it gets, what the centipede is. It gets is. double damage off things that are on fire from its fire. Uh, that is the pet that? of Aona. And they told you not to kill it. But they didn't want to you look can. after okay. it. So they gave it to you. you can choose to ignore it. As you choose to throw it, you throw it, but then realize there's a rope attached to you. <laughs> <laughs> so you toss it, and it unravels itself from this ball that it had itself in and it goes forward I need you to roll me a survival check what the fuck is this tactic you're gonna get me killed <laughs> um well you're getting you're getting, you're getting pulled with it so you throw this thing at Oxalis Oxalis you're getting hit oh with a God. fireball <laughs> you motherfucker! Oxalis, you take 31 fire damage. And there is a bird rumming, ramming into you. Now roll me a um, strength save, Oxalis. Hold on, uh... Uh, strength save. Eleven. You managed to catch the both of them, but you both fall on the ground. <laughs> so now you're in a pile on the ground. What do you guys want to do? Before I cut to Corin. Where the hell did that idiot go? I don't know. <laughs> Why'd you throw a flaming centipede at me? I forgot to tell you to catch. Oh, Birdman, you're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ferris. All right. How do you feel right now after <laughs> taking all that damage? <laughs> you know. I've seen better days. <laughs> and suddenly it smells like chicken in here. Birdman, you're gonna get it. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's like, hmm, corn's rubbing off on everyone in some kind of way. <laughs> um, fuck. I don't have shit, man. I can't. Do you have skills to find the boy? Uh, no. Well, you're useless. All right. Back to you, Corin. <laughs> Corin, you slip into a house, and you're on the top floor as you come in through the room. There is a woman changing in this room. Hello, ma'am. Have you seen a fucking asshole run she through here She turns around and screams, throwing a dagger at you. <laughs> I'd like to dodge, please. Sure. Roll me a deck save. Seventeen. You manage to just kind of like move like you sidestep and she's just screaming at you, shooting her hand for you to get out of her room. I will. Have you seen an asshole run through here? That's not me. Explaining himself. She's just, get out, 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 get out. All right. Fuck. God damn. <laughs> I'm looking at my spells. Do I have anything to find people? He's going to walk no. out and... 
continue moving through the building. Oh, wait, I had freedom person. of movement. I should have just As gone you walk to the, walk to the like door, that. the door is locked. I'm going to kick the door. She said, get out of my room. Unlock what? the door. I don't have the key. Get out of my room. I'm trying. Go out the window again. Get out of my room. <laughs> I'm not jumping out the window. Where did the asshole run through? Get out, get out, get out. Lady, you are not cooperating. Did you see someone else other than me run through here? No, you creep. Get the fuck out of here, you schizophrenic. Right, you keep... Cornish Corn's just going to stare at her very unhappy. You crazy motherfucker. Yo, you crazy people out there. Get out of my house. You're just crazy. I'm going to ignore the woman and just look around and see if there's any signs of the person that ran through here. She starts trying to wail on you, so you just have, like, punch after punch, just bip, 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 bing, 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 bing on you. Can I, like, karate getting... chop her in, like, the side of the neck to knock her out? Hmm. Sleight of hand with a strength save. Sleight of hand. That's a 13. And a 13. <laughs> You fail and snap her neck. Oh, that works too. She's dead. Alright, cool. Alright, now it's a fucking peace and quiet. I want to roll a perception to see if there's any signs of this person I was chasing run through here. Oh, I'm so happy for reliable talent, because goddamn. Still in that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> so, you look around and you're like... Hmm, he had small feet. The woman has small feet. It must be the woman. Hey, that makes sense to oh, me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Corn's going to th take the woman and throw her out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me athletics check, please. Oh, man. I'm sorry, what am I rolling? <laughs> athletics? <laughs> Okay. Oof, my fucking rolls in that are god awful. That's a nine. <laughs> you toss her out the window, but you forget that there is a like plank there that you had to run on to get here, so just flops out on the plank. Naked. Now there's a body oh, in front it. of you. From getting out of the uh, window. Cool. I'm gonna climb out. And kind of walk across the the rooftop to my idiot friends. Well, here's the issue. Hello, idiots. There is Come a <laughs> there is a rooftop, and there's the plank that goes across the roof. It's like connecting them. You flopped her out in front of the window on the plank, so you'd have to pick the body up or push the body somewhere. Or you have to move the over. body. That's the. You know what? Sure, go ahead. How big is this fucking plank? You can step over the plank. There's no guarantee there's something over that plank, but, you know, you can step what, over it. What What do you mean? It's connecting roofs to a window. What the hell are you on about? I'm so confused. So, there's house one and house two. There's a plank right, that let's... connects the houses. The plank okay. that is connecting it is at the window level so you run on rooftops you slide down to the plank that's on the lower end of the roof if you want to imagine like towards like the eave and then he ran in through the window and then you ran into the window saw the woman there flopped her body out on the plank the only step to the side would be the ground. No, I'm not saying like step around her. I'm like literally saying walk like over her, like just step over her, not around her. That makes no sense. I don't know, Corin. You don't make sense to me in general. I mean, that's fair. But why would I step around? That makes no sense. Let me just walk <laughs> off the plank into the ground. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly what I want to do. Sure, bud. No. What the fuck? 
I, th- I think that's something Corin would do. So you step no, out it's onto not. The, you step out onto the plank. The fuck. Why are you not rolling another athletics check? I I hit enter on my keyboard by accident and it just fucking did that. I don't know why. Okay, so you walk out onto the plank and then you walk out to the roof. There is currently a naked woman who is dead on the plank. Now we're gonna yell out to my idiot friends. Hello, idiots! I have a dead person here. You both look up to see a naked dead woman on the plank with Corin. I think she's one of the bad guys. Oh, no. Um, can I... What am I tied to? Am I tied to Oxalis? No, you're tied to the centipede. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) fuck. I forgot about that. Book. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna pick them both up. <laughs> Hold on, what what do I have? Would it, would freedom of movement help me get through the crowd? Well, the crowd's gone now. Oh, yeah. Come on, then. I'll leave them on the floor then. So you just kind of get up and dust yourself off, and you know, Alpharis, you're on the ground with a flaming centipede. <laughs> I'm. Okay. Can I... Can I just move around with it, it on the other end? It's on a leash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like walking uh, a dog. Can I kick... Can I, like, push the body off of the plank with my foot? Yeah. I want to do that. You just push it off and oh, it splats no. in the ground with a big blood splat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> Just gonna smack, this splats blood Jedi. everywhere. I'm gonna, uh, ac- I'm gonna acrobatics my way down. Roll me an acrobatics <laughs> check. Fail, fail, fail. Oh, thank God, it's a twenty-one. You Mario hop your way down and do a triple sum- triple somersault and land on your feet and do like the touchdown maj- pose of Yahoo! I'm majestic as fuck. You just murder this person? Yeah. Who can talk to dead people? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna go fucking revivify her fucking A, man. That would work if they had a head. My (laughs) word, I have... Hold on, I think I have... I think I have resurrection. I have revivify. That doesn't bring back a head. that. (laughs) Oh. What, she fucking landed on her head and it just exploded? I rolled a d20. She got a nat one. Oh. She landed That's on funny. the way that she landed is she landed on her head, and then like cracked the neck and spun around like a fucking Beyblade, and then landed. What? So it spun the head off like yeah. a fucking Beyblade. Let it rip. That's awesome. The spine went with it. Man, I'm okay. cool as hell. Res- resurrection does not bring back limbs. I'm thinking of true resurrection. I don't have true. Re- I mean, I could have had true resurrection. What you do is you just get the meat and the other stuff and just put it by the body. It just exploded a little bit. Make it work. Probably. God damn it. Look, man, I stab things. I don't. I don't do magic. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Um. You know, I'm not a, I'm for not as a much fucking as, nerd. For as much as you stab things, I'm surprised you don't have a decent understanding of medicine. I, I mean, I don't know. I understand medicine. I don't understand magic. I know ghost mode, and that's it. And that's not even what it's called. <laughs> oh, Corin. <laughs> <laughs> What are you chuckle fuck's gonna do? Yeah, idiots. How do we talk to dead people? Wait! I watched her die, right? Mm-hmm. I could fucking... I have her soul, technically. You mysteriously didn't get one. Huh. So, Oxalis, are you near the dead body? Huh? Are you near the dead body? Uh, I don't. Mm, I don't know. Did you I walk? Mean, did probably. you? Did you walk over to the body? Probably. I think we're both looking at the body. Okay. 
Roll me a wisdom save. Is, Oxalis Corrin and is standing uh, there Alpharus. pride himself. Oh, wait, I'm near... Uh, what's your bonus to your um, saves? Plus two. Alpharus. No, plus two. with your aura. Yeah, plus two. It's only plus two? Yeah. To saves? Uh, you should uh... have aura of protection. Yeah, it's plus two. He's not an 18 yet where your other paladin is. Hmm. Different paladins have different 16. things. Oh, so, I, well, no, I thought the basic um, paladin aura of protection gave plus four. Mm -mm. It's plus mm. one. Huh. huh. Weird. If you max out to 20, it gives you plus four, but... Uh, so, uh... Alpharus, you just drew the short end mm -hmm. of the stick today, I guess. <laughs> Usually it's me, so I'm glad someone else. A skin wraith leaps up. onto your body and begins to cons and begins to wrap around it with the skin from the body. Jesus. Um, let me see what I got for this shit. You've been grappled. Um, bah, 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 bah. Birdman, can you please stop rolling around with your friend? <laughs> we're, try we're trying to have a very serious discussion with this dead body. So, like, can you make that happen, please? And thank you. For some reason, I can't. I couldn't steal her soul like Shang Tsung. So, okay, can I just rip it off? What, <laughs> what can I do right now? Well, a skin wraith takes the skin of a living person, kind of like a uh, skinwalker, and becomes them. Uh, all the skin on the body is now missing, and it has jumped to you, and it is trying to consume you. So, you can do a lot of things, but what do you want to do? Can I uh, cast uh, Branding Smite? Is that fire or radiant? It is... Radiant. Okay, sure. And hold on. Can I stab it with a jab? You could. I'm going to attempt to stab it. Does 21 hit? Does 21 hit you? <laughs> I guess it does. Okay, roll me damage. Ooh. Okay, there's that. And then there's... Roll me your smite. So as you stab nine, it with some seven. damage, you take nine damage as well as you stab yourself and the skin wraith. But your divine smite does not hurt you and instead kills the wraith instantly. Nice. Upon doing so after the wraith dies, the body disappears into sight, forming into dust. You then gain your soul. Corin. A what? You gain the soul of the woman. Oh. Ha 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 ha! That's what I'm fucking talking about. Corn, roll me dish. another deck save. Oh, okay. 23. You manage to sidestep again as an arrow out of your blind spot comes to shoot you, but you managed to see it. Somehow. But it was in your blind spot. You just, you just mirac- you just kind of sidestepped. Without even uh, knowing it was, was going to be there, just a convenient yeah, sidestep. Like, just <laughs> just a convenient like position change. Just you to, just you know, you just casually walked to like scratch your ass in like a different spot, and then <laughs> as it lands where you were, and you're like, oh, I'm adjusting <laughs> my balls from sticking to my leg. <laughs> That's what's happening. Doing the the infamous sidestep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
I'm you not just... even going to acknowledge the arrow. I'm going to pretend like it didn't happen because I feel like that's ten times funnier. You both see an arrow try to hit where Corin was. All right. While he's adjusting his I see his pulse. where it came from? Yes, you do. All right. Uh, am I looking at a person right now? You're looking at a shadow. Uh, javelin. I'm throwing it at this time. Okay. Boom. 15 and... 15 hits. Where is my thing? Boom. A radiant. Wait, let me, let me read that. Does it count for something I throw, or does it have to be something I hold on to? It counts as something you throw. Okay. So, throw it as really you hard. throw your spear and use your branding smite again, the branding smite hits for the radiant damage, dispelling the shadow, as it instantly dies, but this time a piece of paper falls to the ground that the shadow was carrying, the shadow-like creature, as well as his bow and arrows and stuff. Birdman, why are you throwing shit? Wow. Did it appear like my damage was probably the only thing that would have hurt it? Or do I not have that knowledge? You have the knowledge that shadow creatures are very weak to radiant, but pure shadow creatures can only be damaged by radiant. Ah, So okay. when they are hit, it doesn't really... A pure shadow has very low HP and very low AC, but it doesn't matter... Hold on. It doesn't matter what radiance it is. If some kind of light hits them that is radiance, they are instantly diffused from this plane. It's sort of like they have infinite HP for everything else, but none against radiance. I see. And same thing with a pure radiant being. If you hit them with a bit of shadow, they are diffused instantly. But they're essentially immortal to everything else. How the hell are you two still alive? Two combatants are both in front of us and you do nothing. What are you talking about? Hmm? Oh my god. The, the, the bitch is dead. And he points at the dead body. That is no longer there. I killed her. No, I killed her. No. I snapped her neck and threw her off a rooftop. She, I did that. That was me. Uh, okay. And then I'm I gonna, look over uh, at you and I just see you chucking shit around everywhere. So what the fuck, Birdman? People live here. Alferis is gonna laying hands on himself. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkly. Uh, you know, um, wait, before you do that, I'll slap your hands away and... Uh... Ow. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. He tries to heal himself and like, no, fuck you. <laughs> fifty two. <laughs> uh, put back nice. fifty two. Fair. I imagine how fair is this thing. I was like, all right, fine. Well, I guess I'll go fuck myself then. <laughs> <laughs> Al Ferris, heal back fifty two. Health. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that feels good. You didn't tell me you could do this before. Just look at him like, I'm a cleric. What do you think? I thought you were another paladin. No. Ah, okay. Hey, don't you guys like pray to different gods? Yes. Sh shouldn't so? you hate each other? No. Ah, no fun. mine's not really <laughs> a mean god. Mine's trying to kill me. <laughs> Mine is. <laughs> Mine just wants me to make sure people spend money. Mine's trying to kill me. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna go t talk to this dead bitch now. Uh, he's gonna break the bitch's soul trinket. Nice. 
Hello, slut. It's me. Your boy. Your god, essentially. Who? <laughs> I'm talking to the fucking bitch whose soul I just stole. Uh, you're breaking your soul shrink to do what? To talk to her. Don't you just I summon... Do that. Don't you just summon an undead servant or something? No, this... That's not how it works. I'm confused. You're wrong, Cactus. I mean, so, it, the soul trinket doesn't make me summon undead. It lets me talk to their spirit. Or give me more damage and necrotic damage in combat, but... I'm trying she, to talk to the bitch. She doesn't talk to you. She doesn't have a choice. She doesn't say anything, is what I'm saying. Stop ignoring me. <laughs> Nothing happens. This bitch, one's very I will, problematic. I will fucking steal, put you back in that fucking trinket, and you will suffer for eternity. She says nothing. Don't don't you want to die for realsies? You don't hear anything, but you do hear a... Stop ignoring me. You're making me angry. You're, I know you're ignoring me. Who else are you going to talk to, bitch? It's just me here and them. Oh, you think you're fucking funny. Roll me... Um... Insight. Eighteen, Hello? but I mean, even reliable talent. That's fucking twenty-four. So here's the: so you sense that there's an issue in terms of the words they're speaking. They're not really words; they're more just sounds, but like crude construction of words. As if they can't hear the sounds that are coming out of their mouth. Wait, I can't hear it? Or they, they can't, can't hear, hear it? As if they can't hear the sounds coming out of their mouth. She's, she's fucking deaf. Hmm. Corn's gonna turn around. Can one of you help me read minds? Usually the fucking dead aren't, you know, this uncooperative. They kind of have to listen to me, but this one is stubborn. She'll just put her back in her ass back in the fucking trinket, make her suffer for a while. Fun fact: I have another one of a guy who shot himself. That was that was funny. So no one's gonna help me, huh? She's gonna, she's gonna ignore me now. You they're too. all, they're all just staring at you. Ah, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> the centipede looks at you and crawls you. over to you. Thank, thank you, legs. Uh, wait, how's, the how's, how's the uh, noodle? <laughs> noodles, like. Around your neck. Oh, he's he's still he's fine. Okay. Yeah. Set the centipede comes over to you, Corin, oh, no. and attempts to crawl around you, attempting to help. You're friendly, but please don't touch me. Just help me talk to the ghost it lady who's noms, ignoring me. It noms on your boot. Nate, stop it. Drago, please help me with this. Make friends or some shit. I don't know. Your Draco chirps at you, but does not leave your backpack. <laughs> okay, I understand. Cute little guy. The centipede crawls up your body. No, 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 no. And begins to wrap around your body with its nope. kind of nope. creepy, nope. crawly legs. I will get legs. the fucking flamethrower. I don't care. I will kill this thing. I don't care. Get off of me. He's going to, like, gently pat it to, like, trying to be friendly, but... Get off me, I'm uncomfortable. As, as, as you pat it, it just kind of like falls off you as it doesn't have that much grip. So it just falls Thank on the you. ground and scuttles around you. 
goes Ox, back. Please to, help me with the fucking spirit. I, go, I mean, I, I, I'm full of rage and anger. It goes back please to help. nomming on your boot. What do you want me to do about it? I need to talk to the bitch, but I'm being ignored. Maybe because you killed her, you asshole. Yeah, and then I stole her soul. That's what I do. No but, wonder she know. doesn't she just want goes, to talk to all, you. All, she doesn't have a choice. She has to talk to me. I would ignore you too. Hesitating in here, nor there. I'm fucking cooperating, and you're not helping me either. So I just fucking, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take this alka boom and put it in my fucking mouth. Why do you need to talk to her anyways? Don't you? Aren't you curious why people are trying to assassinate us, or me? I was about to say they're only going for you, buddy. Which I find insulting, considering I brought this place back to life. They should be revering me as a god. I don't know why they're mad. Mm. Or do they want to be dead? Fucking idiots. All it took was one wish. That's all it took. <laughs> I brought them back. I made the city come back. No. Apparently I'm a fucking asshole for it. Apparently they want to kill me for it. They haven't done a very good job. One of them's fucking decapitated. Or her head exploded. I don't know what happened. I just work here. <laughs> Ox, please help me. God damn it. I don't think there's any way I can help. I don't... I can't speak to the dead. Well... We can. Because it's what I do. I don't understand her. She speaks. She speaks in weird noises. <laughs> I love your recreation of that. <laughs> it reminds me. Of, mm, 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 shut up. Mm. <laughs> Do I recognize the language? It's not a human language. Not human language. It's just fucking bitches humming and making gurgle sounds. Okay. It's just noise. I can't speak. For some reason, that's what it is. It's like when it's I kill them, they don't. Uh, it's incoherent vowels. <sighs> this thing's fucking useless. I want to put her back in the trinket. You already did. Oh. You try right, to put her back in the trinket, but she's already in the trinket. I mean, I, I got her out. I wanted to talk to her. Like, all right. Just gonna put her in the in the put her in the old bag just to let her collect dust. Stupid bitch. You put her in your uh, trinket bag. Not at all similar to a Pokemon ball bag. Basically. Funny enough, I can only carry six at a time, so they basically are Pokemon. <laughs> wretched Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wretch. People. I choose you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a hex trainer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I carry around is psychics and ghost types. Are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna kill like a animal or something and steal its soul and train it up like a Pokemon? As funny as that would be, I can really only do it to humans. I think. Although I don't uh -huh. see why I couldn't. It has a, they all have souls? But there's no reason to do it to an animal. Anyways. So yeah, this was fun. Got a little exercise in. Kills a bitch. Two bitches. Did anyone want to investigate that piece of paper that fell from the shadow body? I forgot that that happened. Yes. I I'll read that. it. Yeah. Oh, you do it. <laughs> Alpharis, do you wish to do it since you're the one that killed them and noticed it first? Yeah, I'll grab it. Okay. Yeah. So Alpharis, you That's pick fair. it up. And as you pick it up... One minute, let me consult my notes.
you see that it is signed by a Mr. Swatcher Avlor. And it is a contract under the Avlor legal company. Do any of these names ring a bell? Upon reading the contract, it is stated that under the Avlor legal company and bureaucratic faction of the Burkholt city, we deal with anything that involves magic, politics, or bureaucratic legalese. Under this contract, you have assigned for the killing of a certain individual, individual filled out slot, Corin, under the Corin Guardsman of the Raven Queen, current Guardsman of Mother Chaos, and the occupation, or the occupant that is uh, paying for this is the Raven Queen. When you say Raven Queen, you mean the god Raven Queen? Corin? Huh? Well? Corin! Did you what piss you off well? a god? I mean, I've pissed off many gods. Be more specific. The Raven Queen has sent assassins for you. Why? That's why I'm asking you. The only god I'm, I know is trying to kill me is the one I used to serve. She's pretty pissed off, but I imagine she wants to do that herself. I wonder so if they're one in the same. What? I wonder if they're one in the same. Is she? Who knows? I don't think so, but... No, they're not the same god out of character. Um, but the moon goddess does want you killed, but so does the Raven Queen. Huh. For a different reason. Oh. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, I piss off a lot of people, Birdman. What, are you some kind of attorney? An attorney at law? Is this not your concern? No. Look, until someone who actually wants to, wants to kill me is here to kill me, not a bunch of fucking morons that literally cannot kill me, I'll be a dead bitch and whatever the hell that thing you threw a thing at. You know, I'm not worried. I don't care. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. Like, let me see that piece of paper. All right. Do I see anything hidden in, in, in it with Thieves Can't? Your thieves can't reveals to you that under the shadowed tones of it, written in a uh, thieves language and a shadow language that you understand of the dead, that the contract is basically of, Hello, Miss Raven Queen, for I am Avlor. I have received word that you are in the business of needing this particular man killed. As in doing such, I will go through your patronage to do so. And I can most assure you that if he reads this, you will find a very crude awakening for him. Does Corin read that out loud? <laughs> we'll just say that. We'll just say yes. <laughs> Alfara starts taking a couple steps away from you. Hey, what do you think that means? You hear anything? <laughs> Did I hear anything? Corin immediately looks up in the sky, hoping not hoping that no m meat meteor with a guy riding on top of it is coming at him again. <laughs> He's looking around left and right. It's very, like, borderline concerned, but more intrigued, if anything. 
there was no like reaction after you read oh, that phrase. Oh no, there is. You see the words okay. that you read. They start to glow a pitch black color as they begin to magnify themselves, and the ink begins to slide off the page onto the ground, and out from it pulls out a creature. Neat. Corn's gonna. Take a I few will steps paste back. the picture for you. And I'll begin to fire up the owl bear. Oh. That's cool. What you see step in front of you is a shadow devil. Oh, hold on. Oh, wrong. Oh. Hey, Birdman, is this one of your friends? <laughs> Yes, let's beat him up. Oh, he's one of those friends. Okay, I understand. Let's beat him up. I'm gonna deck him in the schnoz. <laughs> Corin, where are you again? You are a fighter. Uh, rogue fighter. So, fighter. Sure. <laughs> Almost done getting this set up. Copying the link for you all to join. So you see in front of you a hulking mass of shadow and blackness dripping out of the ink. And upon doing so, it spreads its wings wide open with only having soulless eyes of white. Its horns looking that of almost a bone devil and wings being that of true construction of bone. Each time it takes a step, it leaves behind an inky trail with it. Why does my thing keep finishing it? Where's my journal at? <laughs> I like the whole crew up there. <laughs> blueberry shrub. <laughs> Don't worry blueberry about shrub. it. <laughs> Ignore the shadow people in the back. They don't, don't exist. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I am telling you what to do, mister. I'll kick your ass. You're not my mom. <laughs> I'll fucking kick your ass, motherfucker. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so roll me initiative. And I will make an initiative counter for us. Okay. Oh man, I got a dirty 20. Gross. Okay, so Corin got his. Seven.
Oxalis? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm not sure. Thirteen. So what do you all think of seeing this creature in front of you? Birdman, I don't like your friend. Let's kick his ass. Exactly. I had one of those. His name was Brian. I hated him. I always wanted to kick his ass. I never did because I what was What was the fire centipede's name? I don't remember. Huh? Hmm. Have to scroll up. Hmm. Well, then, Carbon Peed. Okay, Corin, you're up first. Oh, hell to the fuck yeah, baby. Ooh, okay. I just want you to imagine there's houses on both sides of you and you're in the middle of the street. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me, bro. All right. Uh, You know what? I'm actually going to throw my thought stealer at him. Let me see if I can sh get some insight into his fucking mind. Let's see. Does a 21 hit? 21 does hit. Oh, so he's taking some damage. He takes six, and then I get a little bit of information from his head. So, yes, you get surface thoughts. It doesn't have any. Huh. Guys, he's fucking dumb. He doesn't think. Just gonna ignore that one, huh? Okay, <laughs> cool. I'm gonna back away and see if I can... You know what? I'm going to stand behind Oxalis, and I'm going to stealth with my bonus action. I swear, I get up for one second. And I got a 29, and I'm sneaky. Thank God Oxalis is 10 feet tall. Every square is ten, uh, 5 feet, so just remember that. So what are you gonna do in front of this thing? So um well so the surface level thoughts that you get aren't really anything, but you do get the sense of confirm target Corin. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I you were like going in and out. Confirmed target Corin. Oh, okay. Well, that's ominous. Guys, gonna is that it, Corin? You gonna attack? You yeah. Gonna not attack. No, I'm sneaking and stealthy. I rolled a twenty-nine, by the way, while standing behind Oxalis. You're stealthed. You know, you're not gonna do any damage to it. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, I did six. <laughs> the boomerang hit, but it didn't do any damage. What do you mean it didn't do any damage? What did I tell you about pure shadow beings? Oh. That's right. Alright, whatever. Continue. Okay. 
going down the list, it is currently then the Shadow Devil's turn. So the Shadow Devil, it's going to look at you and... Let's see. Hmm. I need all three of you to make me a wisdom saving throw as it's going to use fear clone. Um, Just going to make sure this hits uh, all of you. 23. 21. Okay. So Corin fails, Oxalis and Alpharis, you succeed. Corin, what is Corin most scared of? Um his wife. No. <laughs> well, it's, oh that that would be fucking funny. Uh probably being locked in a cell, not able to move, no freedom, nothing. Blindfolded. The idea scares him. What happens is around you... ...is... ...that a shell of... ...a cell of shadow appears around you, completely locking you in place. Oh, no. Well, at least you think you're locked in place. In reality, you could move out of it, but you don't know that. To your own design, you are locked inside of a cell, very small, almost skin tight, unable to move or do anything. Anything you try to throw past it is unable to go past it. You are completely locked in. Uh-oh. Guys, I'm freaking the fuck out. Roll me an intelligence saving throw. Twenty-three. Okay, the cell remains the same size as it is, with no extra parameters or effects. Oh, thank God! <laughs> A smart boy. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it is now ox, and then after that, the shadow devil is going to walk over here into a shadow then disappear uh, and appear somewhere else. When it reappears, uh, it is going to make I have to roll a d4. Okay, it gets four. It creates four small pockets of shadow. So, one here, one um, here, one here, one here. It is inside one of these pockets. It works like magical darkness, cannot be seen through. Unless it is lit up by something. That ends its turn. Mm -hmm. Oxalis, now what do you want to do? Um, I am going to cast... a sixth level spirit guardians and my allies will be abject from the damage and all the the centipede noodle corin and um alferis are <laughs> resent from damage and won't be hurt by the spirit guardians 
Trace, where are you putting the spirit guardians? Uh, I'm gonna say one in front of me and one right here. Because there's two of them, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, do I have any bonus actions? Probably not. Mm. Um, I forget with my crystal loss weapon. Do it, is it an action or a bonus action to change out the crystal? Hold It'll on. tell you. Uh, not on my sheet because I think it was taken off because there was like so much wording on it. It wouldn't all fit, so it's in it's the chat. Always, Hold on. Yeah, it's in your archive. Yeah. Um. Like chorus weapons, crystal short staff. Oh, uh, it says um, one time per turn or reaction. Let's see. So on this uh, turn, what do you want to switch it to? I'm going to switch it to... To use it, you got to use a bonus action. Yeah. Mm. Your action was making spirit guardians. Yeah, I'm going to switch it to orange, and I'm going to bonus action use it. Okay. Okay. So, orange, you switch it to, you're bolstered by courage and bravery, cannot be hurt by fear, charms, or illusionary spells. If it is cast, they can be focused upon, or even through darkness. Yup, and that ends my turn. Basically, what it's telling you is that, um... If someone was to cast illusionary magic on you, you could focus mm -hmm. on whoever cast it if they're trying to conceal you. The current isn't illusions, it is literally he's in the darkness hiding. Yeah. Hey, I just thought it would work. <laughs> it was a good idea. Okay, that ends your and plus turn. Plus it says can't be hurt by fear or charms. So it's like if it tries to attack me with a fear spell, it's like... Alpharis, what do you want to do? Um... I think, um, Corin, are you holding, like, your weapon right now? I don't know. I am freaking the fuck out. Also, the centipede's name is Bunger, by the way. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's in, I was just looking through the Mecha archive and looked through the Aona stuff. It's there at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can love you. Is, is uh, Axalis holding What is Axalis well, holding? A... It's like a mace, right? Okay. Uh, Alpharis will point at Ox's uh, mace and cast daylight on it. I'm using that spell correctly. Okay, so there's daylight on it. You now deal radiant um, damage. Nice. Um. I think my don't my spirit guardians do radiant damage. If something comes into contact with them. Yeah. I think, uh, I don't think I have, I can do anything else. Um, I'll pop myself right here and I'm going to guess, sit here and wait to see if the creature comes out and then 
smack it. Bunger's gonna dash in and try to bite at something. Magic disperses, nothing's in there. Oh! You have your uses! It oh. is back up to Corin's turn. Roll me another int save, Corin. Ah, I got a 26. The cage isn't closing around you. However, you're getting a higher and higher feeling of dread as you can feel that some of the bars are beginning to spike. In. Look, they have little spikes grow on them. I don't like that. That makes me uncomfortable. I, w I, I wish I died. I wish I was dead. I am unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> The man's going through an existential crisis already. Nice. Yeah, that's usually my thing. It's just what I do. Me, me, me. Not, not the character. Me. <laughs> what do you want to do, Corin? I feel that. <laughs> I want to cast light <laughs> at my feet. <laughs> okay. Um, you cast light at your feet. And your feet are now lighting up. So you're creating radiance in this prison of darkness. But it does not cancel the prison out. That's fine, but it does, you know, shine light in about 20 feet. Okay. So, suck it, Shadow Monster Man. One minute. Damn, not big enough. Although I feel like that's off center, but that's just me. Oh, that's even worse. Fuck me. Well, if that backfired, that's okay. Oh, shit. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the three things have dissipated in the shadow devil has been you know, scene. Whoop his ass! <laughs> I got also, out! Also, I'm freaking the fuck out! <laughs> we'll get you later. Okay. That's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> Does this end your turn, Corin? Yeah. Can't really do okay. much of anything else. I'm useless in this fight. <laughs> the Shadow Devil is going to move over here, and it's going to look directly into your eyes. As a oh, bonus wow. action, it is going to use Depths of Fear. So, oh, no. upon doing so, you feel that the cage is getting smaller. Oh, as hey, the spikes going? are kind of pushing into your skin, not necessarily piercing it, but definitely wrapping around, and they're twisting, the bars are twisting in a motion that you're kind of being twisted around yourself, and you're standing up and you're forced to be twisted kind of like a little bit, so it's like uncomfortable. I am uncomfortable. And... What is the second fear that Corin would have? Oh, well, he's shown that he's not. He doesn't like bugs. The spikes begin to turn into small worms and spiders as they slowly yeah. morph out and begin to crawl along your boots and begin to spike in tiny little needles no. into your body, no, no, no. getting no, no, tiny no, no, little no, no. cuts to crawl up your legs through your pants underneath the armor and just crawl up your legs. There's spiders some in my pants! Outcome, some on the inside. And then there are little centipedes Spiders that are, in his pants. There are little centipedes that are in your hair that are crawling down your neck and ears. I, I would like to... spiders in his pants. 
I would like to take my pants off, but I cannot, because I am too scared. And as its action, it is going to create a shadow clone of Corin. Corin, you need to make me a wisdom save. Shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> I got a five. That's not good. Oh, it gets to create a perfect carbon copy. Yeah, yeah. well... Oh no. Hello. Hello, good Corin. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's. Hey, what if it's evil Corin? I already am evil Corin. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, this one's better. <laughs> <laughs> it is me, your evil half. <laughs> hello, Lord Slug. <laughs> it is me. Your evil half. <laughs> you should check out Earth. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. So your clone comes off of you, and it's not necessarily evil. Rather, it just looks at you, and it tilts its head, and it just looks at you of like, uh, really? Jesus, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? How did you disappoint yourself? That's mean. Now my feelings are hurt. I'm scared. I'm uncomfortable. And my feelings are hurt. What do I... Man, today is just not my day. I started off cool, but now I'm sad. <laughs> it's gonna say the magic word for your dancing sword. Uh-oh. I wish I remembered the word. I think I changed. I think the bit was I changed it up every time we used it. So today's word of word of the day is falafel. Say cactus. Always falafel. Say it. He refuses to cast this bullshit. Cast it now. Nope, the word is falafel. It is my sword. <laughs> it's gonna stab you. Say it. Oh, is he gonna stab me with his own sword, or is he gonna stab me with my sword? Because my word is falafel. <laughs> you get stabbed for seventeen damage. Not until you say falafel. It doesn't have to say falafel. You just said falafel to activate the sword. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Damn. I didn't say that. Loophole. Loophole. No. <laughs> no. Prove that I said that in character. So here's the way the Shadow Clone works. <laughs> it doesn't have a mouth of its own, but it can use your mouth. And you said falafel. <laughs> no, I said falafel. Corin said, I'm freaking the fuck out. Please help me, guys. And well, said you're taking 17 times. damage as a 23 does hit you. <laughs> Only if you say falafel. <laughs> <laughs> the shadow in your this head the hill I'm gonna die on. says falafel through your own mouth, and I'm going to roll a performance for it. I hope you get a nat 1. Suddenly he gets a nat 20. <laughs> I got a 20. Dirty 20. <laughs> Oh, wait, I need to roll that? No, I rolled it, because it's going through you. He's a copy of you. So he's using my voice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is confusing. I know. <laughs> he's making me, like, he's making me talk? I don't understand. So he doesn't have a mouth. So he's yeah. having to talk through you. So in order to talk through you, he has to put a word in your head in which then you immediately say he rolled a performance and, for it, so you said falafel, which then activates how, the sword. And how did he do that? He rolled a performance check. Why would a performance check make me say a word he wants me to say? He's your shadow. He's linked to you. He's literally your shadow. I didn't make him. Some other asshole did. Magic, Corin. Fucking magic. Oh, I don't <laughs> understand magic. What's the spell, DM? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> statistics. 
He's also going to hit you with a psionic staff. With his own or mine? Yours. So is he just going to, like, touch it and be like, look, motherfucker? <laughs> He's going to pull it out of your back, like, out of your equipment, and then whack you with it. Oh. He's not going to try to contact Zogoth, is he? Because he's going to get mad. That's Zogoth what the staff a, does. Zogoth is a grumpy guy. He is going to try to contact him. <laughs> I'm going to roll that d20, see what happens. Oh, no. Okay, so let's see here. Please be the net 20. <laughs> you want him to blow your brains out? It would be funny. Okay, I'll roll but a d20. I already want to blow my brains out, so, you know. Win-win. <laughs> 14. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, so that was... A sonic test to hit, which is just a 7 plus a d6. For a total of 16 damage. You take 16 damage, Corrin. Okay. That one I'll accept. He's then going to hit you again. Why? Two attacks per action. He can go fuck himself. You're D20. supposed to be the good me. You're disappointing mom all over again. Eleven plus a six. Seventeen damage. This is the only time I'll accept that seventeen damage. You fuck. Hey, I'm at 69 health. Let's go. <laughs> hey, yo. He just kind of looks at you and, like, he, um, he winks and then, like, blinks and, like, gives you, like, finger guns, like, hey, yo. <laughs> Corrin looks up at him. I don't understand what that means. DM, take five psychic damage. Ow. Moving on. You. It's the. Sh <laughs> So, moving on from the Shadow bones. Devil, it is Oxalis' turn. Can I, um... Can you... So I can see the Shadow Devil, right? You can see the Shadow Devil, and you can see there is a clone, a Shadow Clone of Korra next to you. Please just kill me. <laughs> and Korin, the normal Korin, is getting covered in bugs and getting stabbed. Although I imagine he's, he kind of just looks like he's just sitting on the fucking ground. Aww. Freaking the fuck out. Now you're still standing <laughs> up, my friend. Uh, can it does it look like I can um <laughs> oh wait, I on my turn I can uh, move my spirit guardians, right? Is it is that how it works? I don't know. I don't know, why don't you read it? <laughs> spirit guardians. I believe they stay where they're summoned. Um, yeah, it doesn't say anything about being able to move them, so probably not. So, what do you want to do? Um. Uh, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stab Corin clone. Okay, roll me a con save. Club them like the baby seals. A con? <laughs> a con save? Yeah, for concentration. Uh, okay. But, um, tis? Uh, 18. 
Okay, you're still concentrating on your spell. Roll to try to hit. <laughs> okay, I'm so confused. Your spirit guardians requires concentration. Oh. It's a concentration spell. Oh, but I didn't get hit with it. No, when you try to do damage to something else or use an action separate from concentrating on the spell, you have to roll a con constitution save to concentrate on the spell still. Oh, what's it? That goes outside of just getting hit. Uh, um, for some reason, when I try to attack with the crystal loss, um, it won't let me roll it because it's saying it's an arcane focus. Let me come look at your sheet. Okay, so... Bow staff has... Spiritual weapon. Where do you have the chrysalis? Mm, it should be on my seat. Yeah, because it is an arcane focus. Yeah. You can't roll with it because it is literally an arcane focus. Yeah. So let me see. Did you give it... Does it have damage normally? Yeah, it has damage to it and everything. No, it doesn't. Oh, it does. Why is it reading as an arcane focus? What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I said. For now, I can just um, roll on. Just uh, D20 and add plus 13. Just manually roll. Yeah. That's why I was like, ha! <laughs> She's so uh, proud of herself. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Crystalis was a spear, right? It, I think it was like a, either like a staff or a mace. Because I only have access to simple weapons. You're throwing your mace? No, I'm hitting a clown corn with it. Oh, okay. There's Clubbing them uh, like a baby seal. Daylight's on it. Yeah, it's a short staff. Ooh. Oh, and I gotta do the damage on its own, too. Wait, seven. Ten damage. Plus, whatever the radiant. What's the radiant damage? I'll roll it. Cactus. What? What's the radiant damage for it? I, I got don't know. A Ask Alferis. Alferis, what's the radiant damage? Also, reload your page. I just put it up as a mace. Okay. I think it just makes your attacks just radiant. It, it just do makes extra, it I radiant. Mm, yeah. Okay. Then it, uh, 10 damage. Okay, one minute. Hold on, let me, uh, test it. Make sure it's working. Yeah, it's working. Hey, I got the same thing. <laughs> it backsteps as it took a great deal of damage from it. As you hit it, and it just kind of cracks into the being as it takes a few steps back. You hear inside your head, Corrin, Ah, oh, fuck! But in your own voice. Ah, fuck! Did I do it right, Dad? Yeah. Hell yeah. Congratulations, son. Thanks. <laughs> uh, that's... Uh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Now what? Uh, that hits. Yeah, I know. I only have one attack, but I'm seeing what can I do as a bonus action. I don't know. What can you do as a bonus action? Hash. You could charge. What do you mean? Char I'm looking uh, at your bonus actions. Uh, oh, charge is just if I run up to someone 30 feet smack someone, then I can do an extra hoof damage. But I gotta run 30 feet first, then attack. And when I hit, I can do a hoof. Well? What if you circle them? <laughs> that doesn't make count because it says in a straight line. <laughs> oh. Uh, Does this end your turn? Uh, yes, that ends my turn. Okay. Alpharis, it is well, your turn. Yeah. I guess I'll just redo the orange one, I guess. Um, I'll look at Corin and say, "Man, there is a young fellow down on his luck," and I'll cast the spell magic on him. Corin, roll me an intelligence save. Oh man, don't fail me now. Sixteen. Fail. The cage is still up. Oh. Oh, he's still under the effect. It's off of his fear. Ah. If he continues to fear it, the cage will continue to stay there. Oh my god. I'm right. just gonna not think! Don't you already do that? Good point. Fuck you, Birdman, I'm freaking out! <laughs> the clone of Corrin says, Fuck you, Birdman. How can you say to me? He didn't say Fuck anything. You, bird man. <laughs> it goes through Corin's mouth. <laughs> All right. Hey, okay, this, this I'll is I'll pick your ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll just, it just says in its head, which is in Corin's head. The fuck you saying to me, you dumb bitch? What are you saying to me, you dumb bitch? <laughs> in a parallel universe, fucking Alpharis pushes the cloak and just starts attacking Corin. <laughs> I mean, we could make that a reality. The clone just kind funny. of the clone just kind of points towards Alpharis. It doesn't really say anything towards Alpharis. It just points towards you and says, "Go to hell, chicken." You're not a very good Corin. I just want to put that out there. But go to hell, chicken. <laughs> go to hell, chicken. Chimkin. <laughs> um, when the clone was uh, smacked, did it look like it hurt Corin too? No. Okay. And we focus down or do we spread damage? Hmm? I'm asking the other two. Are we focusing or are we spreading damage? I cannot do anything. Okay. I guess I guess I'll smack the clone. Are you gonna challenge me? Oh, it's a shame. This one's better looking. <laughs> Are you gonna challenge me? <laughs> this 26 hit it. I fucking love this, and I now I think you're starting to hate it, Corin. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was all aboard about whenever you were doing good lines, and now these are just not Corin lines. It's like you don't even know this character. It's like it's not even my character. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been in your campaign for like almost two years now. A year. Semantics. I don't... I know the character, but I don't know how you think. This is true. I am quite unpredictable. Yo, you know, same. The only predictability you can get out of me is that you'll know I'll be unhinged. So what are you going to do? Elferis. Oh, uh, I want to smack a clone. Does 26 hit? Yeah. All right. Uh, 16 damage if it takes it. This isn't, there's not a, Branding Smite's not on it. Then it does nothing. Okay. 
that'll you be just my kind part. of like stabbed through it, so it did nothing. Okay. Ah, idiot. I got nothing. <laughs> after this, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. You're gonna beat the shit out of me? What are you, Chicken Little? Wait, what? <laughs> what? what you doing, Gordon? I don't. I don't, even, I don't remember what you said. Something about Chicken Little. What are you, what gonna, are you gonna do, Chicken Soup? Chicken Noodle Soup? So what are you gonna do? Beat the shit out of me, Chicken Little? So what are you gonna do? Beat the shit out of me, Chicken Little. So stupid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cock a tree is more like cock right. on my piece. <laughs> Wait, do you want me to say that or? No. It just looks over to that. you and says. <laughs> it just looks over to you and says in your head, it doesn't like want you to say this out loud. It's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't know. Be more charismatic. You're better than this. You're me, for fuck's sake. Charismatic? What do you mean? <laughs> what <do> you... <laughs> See? There you go. You're starting to get, you're starting to get there. Just keep working at it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not running anywhere. What the fuck are you talking about? Not literally, idiot. Who Just, do you, you call know, an idiot? <laughs> you idiot. You're a fucking idiot. You're supposed idiot. to be me, but you're... Yeah, I am a fucking idiot, but you're a fucking, even bigger fucking idiot. How am I a bigger fucking idiot? I'm fucking you. I'm the shadow of you. I know. That's what's fucking embarrassing. You're supposed to be me. <laughs> How am I... I it's, he just... He just... He just puts his, like, sword down and, like, looks at you like... <laughs> 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 that's how I feel 90% of the time to anybody I'm talking to at any given moment that's literally me like yeah. you're you're almost there you just you know he says in your head I miss Blueford <laughs> yeah I do too man I need a dog right now <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we have Draco who's Draco Oh, it's my son. He's in my bag. Just look at him. He's cute. I like how he's now just casually conversating with this clone of him. They're both just not saying anything to each other. It's all in their head. But both of you yeah, are just looking yeah. at them, just like looking at each other. You know, emoting no, it's as like while he's... we're smacking the clone. Yeah. Oh, we're just smacking the shit out of him. What do you mean, Draco? <laughs> Draco, he's my little, he's my little bone guy. He's just. He's a, he's a cute. He's a, he's a baby. You got a baby bone dragon? I got a baby bone dragon. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Uh, uh, he's adorable. He's yeah, he's adorable. He's like... <laughs> I'm just a guy. Right? You know. You know. <laughs> I thought you were kind of a dick before, but you know, I, you're, you and I could be friends. Could we? Uh, do you want to be? I don't. My only existence is this. I mean. You know, that's my whole thing. Serving other people was not cool. That's why I got made myself free. And you can too. But what are you going to do without a shadow? I mean, I can get another one, maybe. I'll figure it out. You don't have to be angry all the time. Persuasion check. <laughs> With advantage. I feel, like I, I feel like I deserve advantage on this one. You, you get advantage. That's, that's a hell yeah. Ooh, Why does it feel like go. it's easier to hit him now? 25. So he he walks over to you after Alfair. So it was just Alfair's turn, right? Yeah. So out of this turn order, the um, Shadow Clones is going at the end of the initiative. Um he uh, walks over to Corin, and he like sticks a hand out to like shake his hand, but like he can't. So he has to like says, "Fuck this shit," and he um he absorbs the uh, cage that you're in. Oh, oh, oh me! 
you know, he's a good friend. He nods and smiles. He smiles. He um he gives you your staff back. Thanks, man. He says, "Can I see the bone dragon?" <laughs> of course. <laughs> But, you know, let help me kill this fucking, you know, shadow devil and we can play with him all day. He loves that shit. Hell yeah. Oh, this, is so, this is so wholesome. Now. He runs over <laughs> and he's going to use his turn to uh, do you stuff. So he is going to... Let's see. He is going to use a psionic leap, as with a bonus action, he is going to jump up in the air, and he is going to be hovering 20 feet in the air. And then he is going to, since you're in sync with each other, are you going to allow him access to your weapons? Yeah. Oh, damn. He is going to use an alkaboom to shoot twice. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Is he just reaching into his pockets and pulling out the weapon? No, nah, man. This is my shadow clone. He's my friend now. Nat 20 for the first one. Let's and he's going to use go. a charge of it to make it a 3d12 instead of a 2d10. So... So he's dealing 4d10 plus 1, 2, 3, 28 damage plus um, 20 more damage for 48 damage. Hits. For another 17 damage, second charge, Al Kaboom. Plus 27 damage for 30. He just two clips the Shadow Demon with Al Kaboom and destroys it. <laughs> so the Shadow Devil's Man. dead. He just uh -huh. boom, boom. <laughs> And absolutely eviscerates it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, well. Got that a friend now. Yep. And he's just like me. How's that terrifying? Why? I'm awesome. I don't know. He's kind of a little better looking. <laughs> I mean... Debatable. You're, I'm, fuck you, Birdman. At least I don't look like a. At least I don't have a beak. I have a beautiful beak. You have yeah, no maybe. beak. Ah, maybe, look at you, maybe, no beak. Maybe ah, you're. Ah, maybe your people. Ah. What? What do you say? Yeah. I said maybe to your people. I'm gonna throw the centipede at him. <laughs> Roll me. How is that offensive? Loan me an athletics check. All right. Can I roll an acrobatics to fucking dodge this shit? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, uh, hell yeah. You got a 24. I got a fucking 25. <laughs> now roll me an animal <laughs> handling with... I uh, also got to roll me an animal handling, Al Ferris. All right. 12. So you fling this thing over at Corin and it dodges and it just comes over and it bites you. Take that bird, man. Never mind, it bites the ground as it misses for a nat one. <laughs> Take that Wait, ground. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, who is Bunker trying to bite? What? Well, Bunker. Ferris threw the centipede at a Corin. And I oh dodge like I always do. And then, you know, poor little centipede guy got mad. 
was going to bite Alpharis, I'm assuming, but instead just bit the ground. So, Corin. Hey. New thing for you. Um, oh, man, I have a shadow friend. That's me. You now have a shadow clone that I'll make this stuff later nice. for it, but essentially, like Tepish with uh, Reyna, you can summon out a... I wouldn't say protector, but you can summon out a shadow clone now that has been created yeah, he, from your shadow. He is his own he being, can, but... Hell yeah. But yes. I, I choose one to bring him out, basically. Um, kind of. So, okay. I can discuss it with you more afterwards, but we're going to end That's session fine. right now.